Away from that, it's 56 years today since the coup that ousted Ghana's first president, Dr. Kwame Nkrumah. The military uprising disrupted nine years of CPP government. As plotters accused the CPP of widespread corruption, economic hardships and stifling free speech. The takeover happened when the then president had travelled on an official trip to Vietnam. Chris Hesse, who was travelling with Dr. Nkrumah when news of his overthrow broke. Mr. Hesse, who would be 90 this year, is the only person on that trip still alive. Justice Bedu has been interacting with him. When a ruler is useless, you depose him. And therefore, we have deposed Kwame Nkrumah. We don't want tyranny or anything here. And I, was I was sharing the same office with him. I sat near the door. There's a small table there. He, he had this table that he would table over the other side. But most of the time, if we were free, I would be walking around and at times would call and send me to call somebody to do all the to do other things. This man so I was, I was, I was very close. No, the, the fact is, I was very close. Ever happened in Ghana? Mm -hmm. Yes. February 24, 1966. This coup was carried out completely because of the things that had happened in Ghana, and of the, of the uh, because of the tyranny and the partisan of Kwame Nkrumah, the deposed president. Everybody in Ghana was fed up with it. Chris Hesse was only a 24-year-old when he left the then Gold Coast Film Unit and was seconded to the office of the president. Our independence is meaningless unless it is linked up with the total liberation of the African continent. When I went to Hanoi, went to Burma, to India, then to Russia, then to China. When China were, went to Hanoi, when the coup came. They do not tell us that we should unite, that we are all as good as we are able to make ourselves once we are free. The day after the announcement, there will be confusion in the Ghana camp. And the coup in Ghana means, means something. All of us, they had no address. Yeah. By the mercy of the Chinese government. I just want to give them the assurance that I am on my way to Accra. I am on my way to Ghana. Then I didn't, well, I didn't understand his, the mood in which he was. I couldn't understand mm, but I understood him when we were flying back to Moscow all the ministers left the president then they said what is, what has happened in Ghana is what is going to happen over the continent of Africa there will be several coups, several coups, and we continue, we continue, we continue until the whole of the continent, the whole of our will go down into the pit. And then the new Africa will grow out of the ashes. Not like many of the people on that trip who were thrown into jail on returning to Ghana. Hesse went on to become one of the country's best filmmakers of all time, working as a videographer for all presidents who came after Kwame Nkrumah. He headed the Ghana Film Corporation, which Nkrumah had established, worked there for more than 30 years until he retired in the year 2000. For Nkrumah, he went to Guinea, where he would eventually die in 1972. Justice Beidou, join us. Accra. You know, be you talk say my beloved country is free forever. But your people still is so far. And that's how we end the AM news. For more news, you can log into myjoyonline.com. I am Mapito Sibidi.